Welcome to Module 4 of the Test Security Training Series. OSSI's Office of Assessment has developed a series of training modules to provide LEA test coordinators for Spring 2021 Statewide Assessment Administration. There are six required training modules. These modules are required for all LEA test coordinators, including those responsible for access and alternate access, MSAA, and PARC. The modules follow the order of activities in the assessment coordination timeline. Upon the completion of all training modules, LEA test coordinators will need to complete a quiz and certification form, verifying that they have viewed all content. A score of 80% or higher on the quiz will serve as official attendance and completion of the 2021 Test Security Training Series. In Module 4, we will cover test administration setup and monitoring. Please note that Module 5 also covers some aspects of test administration. The assessment coordination timeline shows the activities needed in order to complete statewide assessment administration in the District of Columbia. The color and shape of each icon indicates who is performing each task. Each training module provides detailed information on the activities in the test administration coordination timeline. In this module, we will cover the steps highlighted in the orange dotted line. The first thing we'll talk about is test administration. Before we talk about that, we'll first read the statement on test integrity. OSSI's goal is to develop and provide statewide assessments that yield fair and accurate results. To do this, schools and local education agencies, or LEAs, are to administer assessments to the best of their ability in consistent and standardized conditions. The best way for us to support schools and LEAs in administering quality assessments to, is to ensure educators understand and recognize acceptable and unacceptable assessment practices. The first step that we'll discuss is setting up the testing environment. To facilitate consistency and security during test administration throughout the district, it is essential that students only have access to the allowable testing materials outlined in the assessment manuals. Access to additional resources or tools is prohibited. All authorized personnel are responsible for ensuring that test, the testing environment is free of content that may provide students with an unfair advantage. Considerations for helping students and families to prepare a remote testing environment can be found in the PARC Remote Testing Supplement. Non-permissible bulletin and wall displays. For in-person testing, wall displays with tested content or test taking strategies must be removed or covered in testing rooms, hallways, stairwells, bathrooms, and etc. during testing. Displays must be removed and covered prior to the first day of testing and remain removed or covered for the duration of the active statewide assessment. For remote park testing, LEAs and schools are to communicate with caregivers about creating a distraction-free and secure environment. The best practice for remote testing is that walls are clear and free of content. While best practices are to be communicated with students and caregivers, schools and LEAs will not be held responsible by OSSI if a non-school setting has non-permissible content. Any known instances are to be reported to OSSI via an incident report. Maintaining test security is an important factor when setting up the testing environment. The seating requirements here serve as examples schools may consider but do not re represent the exhaustive list of room setup options. Special considerations may be required when assessing students with disabilities or English learners. Additional details regarding administrative conditions for students can be found in the test administrator manuals for each assessment. While these recommendations apply broadly to in-person testing, 
schools and LEAs may be may have developed additional protocols to ensure the health and safety of students and their staff in the building. School test coordinators and test administrators should adhere to the school's established protocols while making every effort to ensure the security of the assessment content and the consistent testing experience for students. For remote park testing, LEAs and schools are to communicate to caregivers about creating a distraction-free and secure environment. As a reminder, tested content and test-taking strategies must be covered during testing. Schools may choose to uncover these wall displays during times when students are not testing. If you have any questions about a particular wall display and if it is permissible during testing, please reach out to Aussie's Office of Assessment Assessments for guidance. The next step that we'll cover is to prepare and distribute testing materials. The school test coordinator is responsible for ensuring that test administrators and proctors know how to properly prepare and distribute testing materials. Some testing materials are intended for all students, while others are only provided to students with specific accommodations. If a student is provided with an accommodated material, they are not eligible to receive or does not receive a material they requ are required based on their IEP 504 EL plan, tests may be invalidated and require re-administration. Please take every precaution to avoid accommodation errors and the challenges they may cause. For remote testing in park, Secure test materials include student testing tickets, secure content displayed on the online browser, and use scratch paper. Paper accommodations are to be administered in person only. Schools are responsible for developing a plan for securely distributing testing tickets to students remotely and for communicating a plan for students to destroy used scratch paper following test administration. Secure materials, including testing tickets, test booklets, answer documents, and etc., must be kept secure prior to distribution. When test administrators receive secure materials from test coordinators, a chain of custody form must be signed by both parties. The form must be signed again when the materials are returned and accounted for. When materials are destroyed, the test coordinator and a witness must sign the chain of custody form. Completed forms should be kept in the school test security file. Requirements for handling secure materials for in-person and remote park administration can be found in the test coordinator and test administration manuals as well as the remote testing supplement. Chain of custody forms can be found at the link provided here. Cell phones and prohibitive electronics. Cell phones may not be used in an in-person testing environment by students or test administrators. Cell phones and other electronics may be used to communicate about technical issues that arise during remote administration by test administrators and technology coordinators. During the administration of paper-based tests, no cell phones may be used in the intestine environment at any point during testing. During the administration of computer-based tests, school test monitors and school technology coordinators may use cell phones for technical support. If a student or student's testing devices experience technical problems that prevent the student from normal continuation of testing, the test administrator must alert the school test coordinator and technology coordinator. All technical problems and delays which significantly impact the administration of the assessment must be reported and documented by the test monitor as an incident report through the incident reporting protocol. For additional guidance on the use of cell phones and other electronic devices during remote administration, please refer to the remote testing supplement for the PARC test coordinator and test administrator manuals. For English language arts and literacy assessments, the following materials are prohibited in the testing environment. A dictionary or thesaurus, 
Any unauthorized resource or reference material that defines, illustrates, explains ELA terminology or concepts or otherwise provides unauthorized assistance during testing, bilingual word-to-word -word dictionaries without definitions, phrases, sentences, or pictures are an allowable accommodation for EL students. For mathematics assessments, the following materials in the are prohibited in the testing environment. Mathematical formulas and conversion tables other than the grade specific vendor supplied materials, math reference sheets other than the grade specific vendor supplied materials, and any resource that defines, explains, or illustrates mathematical terminology or concepts or otherwise provides an unauthorized assistance during testing. Additional prohibited materials are non-approved and unauthorized calculators. Prohibitive actions specific to access. Bilingual word-to-word -word dictionaries are not allowed on any access test. The following are also prohibited. Reading aloud test items or passages on the reading test. Translating test items into languages other than English reading test items in a language other than English, and using a bilingual word-to-word -word dictionary, and responding to qu test questions in a language other than English. Additional guidance can be found in the access test manuals available on the WIDA website. Grade level appropriate calculators will be available in the test platform on calculator sections of the mathematics units for computer-based tests. Students may use handheld grade-appropriate calculators on calculator sections of the assessment. No calculators are allowed on non-calculator sections except when specified by the student's IEP and documented as an accommodation. Test administrators must confirm that calculator memories have been cleared prior to testing. Prohibited calculating devices include calculators with college algebra systems or CAS features, tablets, laptops, or personal digital dis assistants or PDAs, or phone-based calculators, except those being used as devices for computer-based testing, and calculators with electronic devices with or electronic devices with the QWERTY keyboard, except where expressly mandated by an IP or 504 plan. It is a violation of a student's rights and test integrity for a student to not receive their appropriate testing accommodations or to receive an accommodation to which they are not entitled. Students need to be familiar and comfortable with all necessary accommodations before the assessment. Practice tests and tutorials are a useful resource. Any unique or non-standard accommodation not included in the manuals for an assessment must be approved by OSI prior to their use on a statewide test. An emergency accommodation form will be available online for temporary accommodations in the event of a student injury. For example, a scribe may be required for a student who may have broken their wrist during testing. All accommodated testing requiring paper test materials must be administered in person only. Schools and LEAs are responsible for ensuring that all students receive the appropriate accommodations during remote testing. Keeping in mind the method of delivery may look different than it if the students were in person. Reasonable efforts should be made to maintain consistency between accommodations provided during instruction and statewide assessments, whether in person or during remote testing. Parents and other caregivers are not permitted to administer accommodations to students testing remotely. Additional guidance on administering remote accommodations can be found in the 2021 Testing Accommodation Guide. Individual statewide assessments may permit unique accommodations which require advanced approval from OSSI. 
LEAs may apply for unique accommodations by completing the 2021 unique accommodations request form online. OSSI must approve the accommodation prior to the use on the assessment. If schools allow students to bring their own permissible and specific unique accommodation materials, they must be given to the school test monitor or test administrator prior to testing to ensure that the tools are appropriate for testing. Examples, we do not want tools. Tools do not have any writing or pre-stored information on them prior to testing. A test security reminder. The school test coordinator is responsible for ensuring that test administrators and proctors know how to properly prepare and distribute the appropriate testing materials for each testing session. This includes any protocols established for park remote test sessions. All applicable authorized personnel should review the test administration manual for additional instructions. For access for ELS 2.0, all paper-based materials should be stored in a secure location prior to testing. Test coordinators should provide test administrators with the following. Test administration script, test administrator guide, testing tickets, the test roster, and any writing test booklets. MSAA student materials are available online. Test administrators will have a testing ticket, the directions for test administration, or the DTA, and the assessment manage manual with them during testing. For spring 2021, headphones are not needed for park assessments unless students have an accommodation or accessibility feature that requires them. Students testing remotely may find using headphones to be helpful to minimize distraction. Test administrators should be aware of all accommodations and accessibility features provided to students in their testing groups. Training for how to administer these accommodations or accessibility features should be provided in advance and students should already be familiar with any tools or resources they are using. The next thing we'll cover is to administer statewide tests to students. A test security reminder. All authorized personnel are required to maintain the security and integrity of all testing materials locations, and content during testing window. Any deviations or breaches or incidents must be reported to OSSI as soon as they are discovered. Additional information about reporting test security incidents is found in Module 5 of this series, Test Administration Incident Reporting. The following directives must be followed by all authorized personnel during test administration for the statewide assessments. Test administrators and proctors are to follow test security and administration guidance to securely administer assessments to students. All authorized personnel should refrain from committing prohibitive actions during test administration. In instances where there are exceptional or special circumstances during test administration, the school test coordinator must make a plan with OSSI to ensure administration can continue. As a reminder, parents or caregivers who have students participating in remote testing are not considered test administrators or proctors. Caregivers may assist students with logging in, but it is expected that the test administrator assists students with any assessment related questions and tasks during testing. For makeup testing, Every effort should be made to ensure that all students complete each unit or testlet for each assessment. A makeup window should be included in the test schedule to accommodate students who are absent from testing during the initial test sessions. Makeup testing should be handled with the same level of care and security as all other testing sessions, including the removal and covering of prohibitive wall displays and materials, the use of chain of custody forms, accounting for and locking away of secure materials, and shredding used scratch paper on a regular schedule.
assessment manuals. Manuals should be provided to test administrators prior to testing so that they are able to review the details and prepare for administration. During testing, test administrators should have a copy of the test administrator manual with them. Test administrators should follow all directions provided in the assessment manual and reference it as needed throughout test administration. Park test administrators responsible for remote administration are to also review the remote testing supplement and have it available throughout test administration. For access, it is important to give kindergarten students taking the access assessment some mild positive reinforcement on the assessment. Refer to the test administrator's script for acceptable po positive phrases such as good job and very good. Please note that these phrases may only be used for kindergarten students and only during the Access for L's assessments. MSAA is administered to the individual students by the test administrator. The directions for test administration or the DTA, provides scripts and instructions and should be used throughout the testing process. Test administrators should be familiar with testing policies and scripts within the park administrator's manual prior to the first day of testing, including policies for remote testing as applicable. At the beginning of testing, test administrators must read the script in the test administration manual verbatim. If technical issues arise, the test coordinator or technology coordinator should be contacted for support. Test, administration, test administrators should not view student content on the testing screen or troubleshoot technical issues occurring within the testing platform. Students should practice using the test nav tools during the practice test prior to the first day of testing. Test administrators cannot explain how to use tools in the TestNav system during the test unless a direction is explicitly written in the testing script. Once students begin to take the test independently, the test administrator and proctor should circulate the room to monitor testing. They should not view students' screens or engage with testing content. Remote test administrators and proctors should monitor their testing according to the protocols established by their school and LEA. Conversations between authorized personnel and students during testing can only occur when they are essential and brief. The next thing we'll cover is monitoring and supporting staff. When technical support is needed, test coordinators should contact the assessment vendor. Each vendor has a support hotline that is available during testing hours. For support with urgent incidents and policy questions, please contact the Aussie Assessment Hotline at 202-304-3269. A printable document with all hotline support numbers is available online at the link provided on this slide. Supporting staff. LEA and school test coordinators are responsible for supporting authorized personnel during testing. Ensure that your staff know how they can reach you if support is needed during testing. A detailed description of your plan for supporting staff will be included in your school test security plan. LEA test coordinators who oversee multiple schools should plan to visit schools or virtually meet with school test coordinators during testing to provide support and to monitor the application of test security policies and administrative material, uh, procedures. Both OSI and the LEA test coordinators are responsible for monitoring test security at all statewide assessments throughout the testing window. OSI will be conducting virtual desktop monitoring during testing. OSI may also request virtual meetings with LEAs and school test coordinators to discuss testing during administration. OSI will review school test administration and security protocols to ensure compliance with federal and local law, state regulations, policy, and guidance. 
Aussie will also review test security incidents, fact findings, and plans to improve as a means of auditing during test administration. A test security reminder. Aussie auditors cannot provide feedback or technical assistance during Aussie virtual meetings or monitoring. Their role is to observe and or request information. Please provide monitors with the documents they request and allow them to move freely in the testing environment once testing begins. This completes module four of the training series. Please move on to module five where we will cover test administration, prohibitive actions, and incident reports. If you have any questions about OSSI assessment policy or specific assessment programs, please feel free to reach out to the appropriate member of the OSSI assessment team. Thank you.